Hey guys, um, this is one of the many videos where we'll show how to set up um, an external list on SharePoint 2013 from an Oracle database. Um, in this section of the video, I'm going to be talking specifically about the prerequisites. Um, so let's look at the Oracle server first. Um, I have a Windows Server 2012 R2 and the Oracle server I've run on it is the Oracle 11G Release 2. Um, one of the things I will need in this server is to set up the Oracle listener service. So I'm going to go in and first actually show you the service I have. Um, and this is where it is. There is the Oracle um, listener service and it's actually running. Um, so let me show you, uh, show you where I actually got this um, configured. Um, Oracle by default already has the network configuration assistant. And in this case, I already have the listener service set up. Um, so I won't be setting up a new one, but I'll just walk you through the process. Um, so the wizard basically says, you know, choose the configuration you would like to do. Um, the first radio button is the listener configuration. Let's click that as next. Um, I'm not going to add one. I'm just going to reconfigure it. Click next. Um, it already shows the existing listener I have. Uh, but if this wasn't you, then you would select that. Um, uh, let's find the service will stop. Um, I've selected the TCP protocol um, and then I use the default port number which is 1521. Um, so that's basically the uh, the setup and the configuration of the listener service. Let me just close this. Um, refresh. I see that the listener service stopped. I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on again. So that's for the Oracle side. Um, the next thing I want to do is talk about our SQL configuration. Um, and, and in this article, we'll be actually spending more time on the SQL server. Um, but on the SQL server, um, there's two different um, clients that I've set up. Um, and it's both for the Oracle 11G release 2 client, but I've set up both the 64-bit and the 32-bit. So why did I do that? Um, the 64-bit is what gives you the ODBC connection for your SQL server to talk to the Oracle listener. Uh, but the 32-bit is primarily for the um, Oracle SQL developer application. Um, and that's that's the primary uh, reason to uh, install the two of them. You would be just fine to install the 64-bit um, and work with it. Um, but if you want to do some testing to see if the connection works and, and whatnot, then it's best to even have the 32-bit and use the uh, Oracle um, uh, SQL Developer Admin. Um, so I've gone ahead and installed that and I installed it on my C drive. That's by the App Administrator product version. And that's why you see two clients. One client is the 32-bit and the, uh, the other one is a 64-bit. Um, so that's um, a quick uh, review of um, just the Oracle side. Um, SharePoint is pretty much straightforward. I have a SharePoint 2013 Service Pack 1 running on my Windows Server 2012. Um, on this server, we will eventually go ahead and um, you know, set up the uh, BDC connection. Um, we will also have a secure store service ID set up. Um, and then through SharePoint Designer um, 2013, we will select create the external content connection to that list. Um, so that's just a, a quick overview of uh, the prerequisites I have. Um, and as a quick recap, um, I have the Oracle Server 11G release 2. I went ahead and um, have my listener configuration set up on that. Uh, my SQL Server has both the clients um, installed on it, um, both the 32-bit and the 64-bit. Um, and it is important that you set up the same client version uh, as the Oracle Server. The Oracle is 11G release 2, so the client on the SQL Server is also 11G release 2. Um, and then after that is the SQL Server, uh, I mean my SharePoint Server, and I have um, uh, SharePoint 2013 Service Pack 1, and that's where I'll go ahead and create the connections and everything. So in the next video, we'll uh, spend a little bit more time in detail talking about the SQL configuration. Thanks.